So, I'm gonna talk about the day that I found out that Amy Winehouse died. Oh. It was really tough. I was 19 years old. It was after my freshman year of college. July 23rd, 2011. Wow. I was working at the American Eagle at the Logan Valley Mall. <laughs> Not a good time. Um, I worked an early morning shift. And I came out, and this was before I had a smartphone. I had a slider phone. <laughs> I, I had six text messages, all from friends, and they were all very vague. They were like, Amy died, are you okay? <laughs> Who is Amy? <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh my God, I was like, what is going on? And then it clicked. My friend Taylor, and I had a thing in college, she was Missy Elliott. I was Amy Winehouse. And she wrote, you died. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I died. Amy Winehouse died. So I get in my car in the parking garage, roll up down my window, put on my prank CD, light a Marlboro Red, because that's what I smoked at the time. And I took that eight minute drive home, and I cried, and it's so weird. I, I've had relatives pass away, and I've been like, Nothing. <laughs> like, Brittany Murphy died, I was like, oh, Like, celebrities hit me. And when Amy Wine, I got home and my mother, who's very blonde, walks out the door with a vodka, um, vodka on the rocks in her hand. And she's like, are you okay? And I have my cigarette and she doesn't like that. She usually yells at me, but she's like, so I walk inside, take the vodka tumbler from her and go to my room. I have three posters in my childhood bedroom. Audrey Hepburn on this wall, Princess Diana on this wall, and Amy Winehouse on this wall. I put on the Amy Winehouse record and smoke cigarettes at my childhood window, watching a cute boy with a tractor, like, cutting the lawn. And I'm just sitting there, sobbing. And I call out of work for three days. <laughs> I, I almost lose my job in American Eagle, which it's American Eagle. <laughs> and then my mother comes upstairs, takes my cigarettes, and she's like, you need to end this now. You need to wrap this up now. <laughs> and she was like, you did not even lose this whenever your father died. This is worse. And I asked her, can we have a ceremony? And we bury an empty box next to my dead dog, Oscar. And my mother, it was really sweet. That's a really sweet thing for my mother to do. And then I went into the house and I put on the Back to Black album and you know, it's a, it's a grieving process. I grieve her every day. God bless Amy. That's all I have for you tonight.